माय नेम इज कैलाश मंत्री आई एम ए लाइफ कोच एंड ए मेंटल हेल्थ कंसल्टेंट फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स वी हैव बीन रिसर्चिंग ऑन मोर देन फिफ्टी डिजीजेस बेसिकली मेंटल डिजीजेस विच वी क्योर विदाउट मेडिसिन एंड विद गारंटी टूडे आई बी टॉकिंग ऑन प्री मैच्योर इजैक्यूएशन वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट सेक्स प्रॉब्लम पीपल आर फेसिंग मोर देन थर्टी परसेंट पीपल ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड आर इफेक्टेड बाई दिस पीपल ट्राई टू अवॉइड इट टू द लास्ट एक्सटेंड एंड ओनली वेन दे आर अबाउट टू गेट मैरिड दे गेट स्कैड दे गेट पैनिक एंड दे कम टू अस दैट नाउ विल बी एक्सपोज एंड प्लीज हेल्प अस दिस इज बेसिकली a psychological and an emotional disorder and i would say that this is this disease can be compared to an iceberg where 10% of the problem is visible and 90% problem is hidden we find out through our mind mapping test which is a very transparent test and within 30 minutes we come to know what are the major issues the person is facing and once those issues are resolved you know this issue is resolved there means there is nothing which anybody can do in curing this disease unless the other 30 40 50 issues of the persons are resolved but people go to a doctor or to a hakim and they bully him and none of the treatments are successful in curing this disease this premature ejaculation can be divided into three category first is lifelong premature which is very rare but yes 2 to 5% people suffer from it wherein every the person has premature ejaculation 15 to 20 times a day second is primary premature ejaculation which means the person is suffering from a childhood from an early age and the third is secondary premature ejaculation that means initially the person was normal having normal timing for discharge and over the period he has got this disease of premature ejaculation i once again say that no medicine in the world let it be allopathy ayurvedi homeopathy or anyopathy can help in curing this disease because it is not a disease of a body and medicine can apply only to the body but there is a psychological benefit of taking this medicine which is called placebo effect that person thinks i have taken a medicine and now i will get cured but it is not through the medicine but through positive approach the person has got and the faith the person has got in the doctor it is a basically problem of anxiety disorder excess thinking negative approach lack of patience lack of confidence fearful approach fear of failure fear of rejection confusion doubt etc if anybody develops this disease after marriage then it is always advisable that the person should come along with his spouse and there is some issue between them that the person has got this premature ejaculation wife will be needed only at the first consultation wherein we have to take her point of view also and we have to take her mind mapping test also and find out how much role she is playing in creating this disease in her husband sometime wife is very dominating very confronting very argumentative sharp in finding mistakes a perfectionist and the husband is confused fearful and more in anxiety so this disease is created in partnership also it is not a biological disorder it is not a genetic disorder neither it is a neurological disorder the truth is the person is enjoying more sex in his mind which we normally call it mind fucking which need to be dealt with so lots of images lots of uh, memories of past sex life or past videos or past uh, porn videos and he is totally into it going through the google information i found that there are suggestions for three techniques to get rid of this premature ejaculation and i do not agree with any of this in fact none of these are practical and they are totally a failure first theory recommended is squeeze therapy in in which in the middle of the sex process the wife has to press the end of the penis for some time and then the process can be prolonged which i think is not practical men are basically impatient and no man can have patience to allow the wife to squeeze the penis and wait for wait for some time before it starts again second theory recommended is start and stop in which the person is supposed to start the sex process and in the middle of it it has to stop and take it out and wait for some time or do something else maybe foreplay or something else which again is not practical and it is recommended that this has to be practiced for 3 to 4 months before it can really benefit and the third technique suggested is use doubled condom or a thicker condom 
by which the sensitivity can be reduced but the truth is sensitivity is not at the penis level sensitivity is at the mind level and there is no process by which sensitivity at the mind level can be reduced thus all these three techniques are a failure sex command is always given by the mind and something need to be done at the mind level for long lasting results if the person comes at the early age this is curable in one month also and the difficulty is the person has to talk openly the more open he is the faster is the results person who is suffering from the premature ejaculation his life is very frustrating life is very depressed but instead of coming to us he prefers to masturbate and satisfy himself and neglect his wife's need which is a wrong strategy and i once again say premature ejaculation or all sex problems are basically an iceberg that means what problem is visible is 10% and 90% problem is hidden and we need to really find the root cause of this problem and now there is a 100% cure for this disease it may take one month it may take one year also in this treatment pranayam yoga meditation walking diet change does help and diet has got more than 20% role in curing this disease there are many mind control techniques which does help there are many distraction techniques which does help also there is a joke in the market that when husband and wife are on the bed there are more than two people on the bed two people physical any husband or physical and two persons are in the imagination in the mind of each of them in the mind of husband there are fantasies of other women and in the mind of woman in the mind of a wife there are fantasies of other men also there is a barometer that if continuously more than 5 times there is a premature ejaculation of less than 1.5 minute then it is termed as premature ejaculation once in a while everyone experiences premature if you are having sex after a long time if you are having sex with a new woman and there are many reasons for having premature ejaculation but if it is more than 5 times at this stage then it is termed as premature ejaculation so i have once again say you are not alone in this disease there are more than 30% people who are suffering it don't feel shy approach us there is a solution to your problem and you can enjoy a healthy sex life